Good day there. This is a short video about the Nomadton in Yuanzu. It's a project that we um, are organizing through an organization called Sudan Lanka. The Nomad Town is basically a resilience hub where we are trying to reduce our impact to absolute minimum while at the same time increasing the level of resilience so that we are not impacting and also that our survivability is not being impacted uh, or dependent, um, <clears throat> dependent from, from systems which uh, seem to be quite complex and uh, destructive and fragile at the same time. So the Nomad Town UN to a resilience hub in eastern Finland. Uh, our approach is a semi-nomadic one, a bit mobile, at least having the option to move uh, if we want to or if we have to. Also in the summer we want to be more mobile, maybe traveling with bicycle groups. Um, a crucial part of the Nomad Town project is to share our experiences, to experiment, to provide space for participation. So we are organizing courses and events. So we have like, as our number one go-to tool, we are having the full moon, full stop, or using the stop tool every full moon. And uh, that's in short, like every full moon, we take a day off, uh, sit down, go on strike, um, stop what we're doing, idea being that if we don't know really what to do and how to do it and know that obviously we need to do something because our planet can't take our lifestyle, uh, then doing nothing for a day might already be a good start. So S, create an environment where you can think and thank. So we start with thank because in any survival situation there should still be something that we can be grateful for. T is basically uh, establish uh, are we having a survival situation or not. So we think about our six survival priorities, food, water, air, shelter, community and health. Are those six survival priorities covered in a sustainable way, yes or no? Do we have a survival situation, yes or no? And uh, also have a cup of tea. <laughs> so that's also tea. Um, then the O is of basically to observe, to orientate, um, find out what are our options and opportunities, um, copy-paste solutions most of the time, basically most of it communication-based. And then when we have figured out what our options are, we move to the P, and that is making a positive plan for the next month, not more making it like understandable, the steps that we are taking. And yeah, so this is something that we do every full moon, full moon, full stop. We highly recommend this tool because it gives you, um, it, it's a tool that helps you to find solutions in your own surrounding, in your own uh, situation. So there's nobody telling you do this or do that, but um, this is a tool that helps you to find out what possibilities you have. Um, I would like to stress like that this is not anything about climate change alone. Of course, climate change is highly impacting our situation, but I have the feeling that climate change starts to divide people in a way or the other. And this is really about our survival priorities. Just thinking about food, we need far more energy than what we, to get the food to our table than what we get back from eating this food. So that's just one example. And we realize that we have to try something new, their adventure, and that's what we're doing here. And so far, like I've been now living in that yurt over there since August. That's um, well, it's half a year now. Yeah, and it's been really good. It's been worth it. Uh, I'm surprised. It's much warmer than I thought, much easier than I thought. And we are lucky to have found a nice place on the outskirts of this town of Joensu, just a few kilometers from the city center. So it's easy to take part here and um, we invite you uh, individuals, schools, especially schools also, organizations, businesses, to come and contact us, Sudan Lanka RU uh, or RY Sudan Lanka, you will find it, I put the link down in the descriptions, also hashtag Nomad Town, also look at Resilience Hubs, this concept, um, basically trying to build hubs which are resilient, 
And yeah, if you are interested, if you have any questions, please contact us. We will try to help as good as we can. And you're welcome to visit this place here, ask us questions, live here with us. In the summer, we're going to have uh, in July a one month experiment of um, not using fossils, not using money and not making any rubbish, which we have done already in 2018. And that was so good that we want to do it again this year. Um, starting here in the nomad town and then moving somewhere else and see what lessons we can learn and yeah that's it this is the nomad town in UN2 that's the stop project um, highly recommend looking in this idea of building resilience hubs and using the stop tool like the the nomad town is a result of using the stop tool for over two years it's so it's a very fast tool to give solutions and I, I should say that it really helps increasing happiness levels as well. So that's it from the Nomad Town. Have a good time. Bye bye.